morning, and uh, here we are. Uh, Going to start a uh, tumble today on uh, using Unikite, and I'm going to use MJR products. I uh, got a load in recently, and um, we're going to give it a shot and see how they turn out. This is uh, Sunday, somewhere around the fourth or fifth. It's snowing out here, so I got plenty of time and things to do. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with a lot of little details, but uh, we'll just get on to the final product, if you will, and uh, see what we come up with uh, coming out, and I'll show you what I'm going to put in. I'll be with you in a couple of seconds. All right, the first one's a uh, three-pound barrel. Looking good. I'll uh, get some pictures and add them in where they belong. All right, batch one here. Beautifully smooth. Uh, it's what I call uh, Bouquet granite because of all the different colors. All types of interesting things. All found down local beaches. There's all sorts of unikite. Nice beautiful quartz ones. With bands in them and whatever. Little piece of basalt. A lot of pretty stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put these back in and I'm going to uh, put them in a polish and I'm going to use. Um, uh, let's see how smooth they are. I'm going to use 8,000 grit on these. And uh, this is one of my regular grits. We'll see what happens. All right. We're on to uh, the second barrel here. And it's another three pounder. And uh, I'll see what comes out of there. And on we go. Group number two, and the other three pounder, got a couple of nice pieces of nice. I believe those are nice. And little green ones. Another bath salt type. Got a few little cracks and things in it, but uh, those are inherent in the rock itself. I also put the uh, some quartz into this one because I'm going to use those smoother quartz pieces to help me um, work on my conglomerates. And the reason I'm just going to try them is they're pretty well consistent hardness and I want to see what they uh, do. These uh, little quartz nuggets, are, you can find them all over the beach. Uh, they're really nice and pretty actually by themselves. And uh, when I'm all done, anything that survives will um, go over to the Rockland Garden Center into the uh, free rock pile, if you will. You know, some of these are really this little pretty rock. Um, this could be another basalt, ambidroidal or something, I guess, with a little in filled in holes there or whatever, but who knows. Anyway, this is for my buddy Jim Pecora, famous guy in the mineral world. Comes down to our club and gives talks all the time, does a great job. Anyway, uh, on to the next barrel.
Alright. Uh, now we're gonna uh, put some Unikite or uh, near Unikites anyway. Uh, Unikites basically a granite. But uh, there's an awful lot of it around here. And I got a bunch of these uh, small different uh, feldspar granites and unikites. But anyway, I'm going to fill up the barrel and uh, I'll uh, get back to you. All right. I got this uh, filled with unikite. Uh, is that a unikite? Yeah, I guess it is. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put some of the smaller round quartz pieces in here. And I'm not even going to put any uh, any of the ceramic media in with it. I'm just going to put all these little tiny quartz rocks in here because they're uh, not any harder than the uh, Unikite. Um, we'll see what happens. All you can do is uh, experiment with all the different rocks you get. And if you got the time, uh, do it. It's a science project, if you will, but it also is, uh, shows off your artistic endeavors. And it beats a sharp stick in the eye, as we say. All right, I uh, told you I was going to try uh, MJR's grit today, and uh, stage one, this is 30 grit. This is uh, weeded out 30 grit, and I want to use this on the uh, unikite I have in here because there's a lot of patina on it, and I want to just make sure I get through that and get the front stage smooth. Oh, these are my uh, peanut butter pretzel jars. I had to eat an awful lot of pretzels in order to get these. But anyway, I'll uh, put the stuff in and get this one rolling. And I put plenty of water in this one. And... Uh, We'll just see what happens. All right, got the third three pounder. We'll see what's in here and uh, show it to you and then we'll decide where we go for this one. But I'm getting near the end of a lot of these. Uh, I'm at the polish phase and I'm gonna uh, be starting some new rocks. So I'll let you know what's going on. All right. Decent pieces of unikite. Uh, I gotta figure out what these are. There's some nice ones. I got some uh, bigger ones to go into uh, the fray there. I like them because they got that red in there. And when they polish up, they look pretty nice. But, uh, keep coming up with these little pieces of basalt. It's way far, way more common than I uh, first imagined when I found the first ones, but little, little pieces here. This is going in 12,000 polished I got from MJR. And they're looking pretty good right here. And uh, put a little extra media in. And on we go. the uh, 15 pound MDR, MJR uh, barrel here. Sorry about that. And uh, we'll see what's in there and we'll decide what we're going to do with it. 
All right, this is the 15-pound uh, barrel. And uh, uh, one of my favorite pieces of Unikite, uh, really rosebud Unikite, is um, looking pretty good now. Look good before. There's another one. I don't know what this is. It's got green, black. Seems like uh, some sort of basalt, maybe. Uh, don't think it's obsidian for sure. But uh, interesting pieces. Well, that's a nice unikite. That's probably near unikite, but there's a little bit of uh, epidote uh, vein running through there. But basically, it's all just granite. And I've been uh, grinding up these little uh, quartz rocks to help me uh, in the tumblers. You know, here's another piece of basalt. Interesting. But uh, I got a little repair work to do on this one. Uh, the barrel, I had a little failure there that needs to be corrected, but I'll get to that. And then I'll put these back in. All right. I went to the 12, 12 pound uh, thumblers barrel here and we'll uh, open it up, see what we got, and then we'll go from there. This is uh, what's kind of a soft rock group. <coughs> so there are some hard ones in here, but I got some of these. Uh, what I don't know the name of, but I'm going to find out. But they're really, most of these are kind of a soft rock. And, uh, you know, just a smooth blue rock. That's all that is. I don't know what it is. But it's pretty in its simplicity. And then you got these little rocks with these bright red streaks through them and uh, little conglomerates there and all sorts of interesting stuff. Anyway, these are going back in and uh, they're relatively smooth after the first uh, grit. So I'm going to put these into a uh, maybe a thousand and we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, another interesting rock with fractures and reformed and beautiful stuff found all over the beaches around here. like a family tree when you grind rocks you're forever having to fix your equipment 
And um, I actually glue or epoxy two of these covers together. One of the, one's a three pound barrel cover, one's a, a 12 pound barrel cover because the middle wears out. And you can see where the liquid's coming right out from underneath there. And um, I'll just put some epoxy on it and get another couple of miles out of it on a later date. In case I run out of covers, I, I'll always have a spare. So, anywho, we're on the last barrel here. And we'll see what's in there. And then I got some repair work to do. And uh, we'll see what happens. Here's uh, one of the Yupa lights I got from Eric Rintamaki uh, when I bought one of his lights and uh, polishing that baby up and it's uh, getting better every day. All right, let's see what happens with this one. All right. I'm out of the 10-pound uh, barrel here. And uh, what kind of a polish? And uh, this is one of these kind of strange rocks I found. It sort of looks like a reverse um, Chinese writing stone. Nice big piece of unikite. Still got a couple of little dings and divots in it. Another piece of uh, basalt. It's kind of rough, and it's got some deep cracks in it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Anyway, but it's not going back in this barrel. Anyways. I don't like the smoothness of that one either. A lot of good stuff in there. I don't know what this one is. I find an awful lot of these kind of rocks down the beach. Um, I'm not. I'm assuming they're basalt, but I can't really. I don't really know for sure. This is a nice epidote. Can't really call it unicorn or that one for that matter. A lot of interesting little pieces. Uh, that looks one for Aileen. Yeah. That's not going back in either. I got to do some work on that maybe. But anyway, that's another beautiful little piece of basalt with the little tailings in it and stuff. Oh well, back in the tumbler. A lot of them are smooth. That one's not really smooth yet. I'm going to put this one aside and wait for the next uh, batch. And I'm going to put these babies back in now. And I think I'm just going to put them on um, 220 grit. And they just come out of course, probably a 60 90. And we'll go on from here, see what we come up with. All right. All right, this barrel didn't uh, fill up uh, as much. So, got a couple of already some are somewhat smooth. I 
got some. Add some quartz in there because I think that's going to help smooth them out. But we'll see. All right, on we go. Alrighty, here. Back in business, uh, need to do a little repair work on one of the barrels, but that's no big deal. I'll fix that right up and get it back in business. Anyway, I'll uh, when I fix that one, I'll do a little video because that's the one I'm going to fill up uh, and, and tumble with MJR Rick. Anyway, get the little one back on. Back to your little bow and uh, get this uh, video together and see what we come up with. Enjoy.